Hello everyone, this is Dori from the Lebanese Pavilion. As you can see over here, those are statues that resemble the Lebanon still standing out throughout everything that it's passing through. So now, let's go inside and show you more of the Lebanese Pavilion. Please, follow me. So as you can see here, we have a little bit of the greenery from Lebanon. Everything is over freshly from Lebanon. And now, please, follow me. So here is just like, as you can see, the entrance as a corridor. And now you see there's like a poem, a small poem, that talks about like wishing Lebanon to become better as it's, it's, it's passing through hard times at the moment. And now we move into the screen area where it shows parts of Lebanon, the mountains, the seas. It shows the difference, differences in Lebanon from ethnicities to religions, from everything all around, the party life in Lebanon. You know, this is the whole city of Beirut. Okay, and now this is DJ over here, as you can see. This is DJ Milhem playing back in Balbak, which is a city in Lebanon, where he expresses through it the, what he's feeling and what he wants to say through music. And now moving on, as you can see over here, we see famous traditional food made in Lebanon. Uh, when, I, when I spoke with my father about, yeah. I was asking, what's the best food in the world? And he was thinking for a little bit, he said Lebanese. Yeah, it's I, the it, best. That, for me it is, come on, I have to give credit to my country at least. Yeah, yeah. so those are different types of food. In Dubai, yeah. uh, it, it always says Lebanese, Lebanese, Lebanese food. You yeah. know, like uh, that's just uh, no, it they is, don't it say is. Arabic. They, they will just say Lebanese. It's, it's Lebanese food, yeah, because it's known. We are known, of course, with respect to everyone, but we are known to have really delicious food. Now here, our slogan is "We rock, and you know it." Okay, now. That's your official slogan. Yeah. For the for the country. Yes. Or for the pavilion. For the for the country and for the pavilion, we rock, and you know it. And this is Elie Saab, the famous designer. And now moving on to the art gallery. Yeah. Now here in the art gallery, those are different, um, how do you say it? Different artists, different people who, who, who created those things. And Saleh Barakat, the guy over there, like with his name on, he joined all of them. So for example, this over here resembles the old buildings of Lebanon. Okay, where they show that it's still standing up no matter what it passed through. And we have different designs. And now moving on to the famous area that everyone likes and everyone comes mainly for, which is the swing area. The swing area in Lebanon where it shows you different parts of Lebanon on both sides, where people can use the swings to sit and view on both sides what's going on. Now you may be asking me why is this red over there? There is the one swing that's red. This swing resembles Lebanon as its dif difference, it's differ it differentiates Lebanon from different other countries and how, how, how we are unique from different other also uh, so societies and countries. And now, as you can see, those are the different areas in Lebanon. Swing, swinging is also good because uh, relaxing is important. Exactly. So getting people, some air is important. People, people, people can feel some, fr like you can feel your in Lebanon because in Lebanon, in every house, there's a swing. Every me, house? Me, mainly, yes. The old houses, every, every house, they had a swing in it. So this would like make people feel home again, you know, as they can watch their country, you know, the views of their country from the mountains uh, to the sea. If seas. you're in a shade and you're on a swing, then it's like air condition, right? Exactly. You're getting cool exactly, air. Exactly, exactly. Right, if it's hot. So now moving on to the concept store, which we have over here. Uh, everything over here is, is fully, fully Lebanese. From all, you can see all around. We have the famous jewelers over here and the famous clothings. Everything is fully Lebanese. And now moving on to uh, their soap, their perfumes, everything is Lebanese made. These are actually uh, Khan uh, Sabon. They are from Trablos in Lebanon and they were actually established in the year 1480. 
and it's still, it still functioning till now. Yeah. So it's a very well known old soap brand. And as you can see, we have also the famous Lebanese za'atar, which is mainly thyme leaves cut and dried, and uh, people can eat them. You know, you can, can, be on the you, can you can add olive oil to them, and it would be perfect for breakfast. <laughs> and I, I saw, uh, I saw over there some uh, furniture. Yeah. Yeah, we have some over there. Something made of like Lego concept. So this is uh, Lara Haddad, and uh, she essentially made these out of Lego. Like they can still come apart piece by piece. So uh, these are actually just a, a pure creative project by her. Nice. Please, let's move on to the other side. As you can see, everything is fully Lebanese made from Lebanese people. You know. We actually, we, we are trying to like motivate. Those are made by, those are the ones made by a 13 year old girl. No, no, no it's, Which ones? It's, it's, it's these. Ah, these, by, sorry. By, by an 18 year old. By an 18 year old. Uh, yeah. These are actually from a uh, NGO. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's yeah. go this way in there. So these are actually from an NGO called Operation Full Fridge. And what Operation Full Fridge does is they stock up for the people in, in help and in need uh, in, in Lebanon. Uh, help them get food. And these are also, actually also Live Love Beirut. They're a very well known NGO. And you can see in the back of their card, they say, when you buy a bracelet, you help us fund our operations and for, to provide food, medicine, and shelter for people in need. So it's purely NGO products uh, that we offer here. And, uh, as bracelets. Uh, All so, right. So those Thanks. are the concept store. This is the concept store as known. Now moving on to the best side of the pavilion, which is the restaurant. Oh my God. Yes. So this restaurant is called Ekle, okay? They also have a, they have a wine bar, okay? Which includes wine and gin, mainly fully Lebanese. Uh, how is uh, Lebanese wine? For me, it's one of the best and most smoothest. Why is that? Is uh, the weather, the temperature? It's the... all fresh uh, and it's, it's natural. You know, especially knowing that Lebanon has four seasons. So this helps with the with the production of of the wine. All right. And uh, you were saying restaurant? Yeah, we have a restaurant over here. It's called Ekle, where people can come and try their Lebanese food, Lebanese authentic food, and it's actually really good. It's it's really authentic, and every time I eat from here, it just reminds me of back home. So uh, so yeah, this is mainly everything. And moving to the last area of the pavilion which is the outer area over here. And people, we have our events over here. And uh, so yeah, this is mainly everything. Right. Uh, so uh, the, the message you have here for the expo is uh, to be positive about the future. Yes, to be positive about the future. And we, all, we will always have hope in our country, no matter what it's passing through. Of course, uh, it's passing through hard times right now. I don't want to go politically into it. Uh, but we're here to motivate and always, you know, I, I, what they say, after a rainy day, there, oh, there's always rainbow. So we're trying to be the rainbow for the, for, for the society and to always show them that there's always hope in Lebanon and their, Lebanon will rise again, hopefully. And, um, it's, it's like uh, in partnership with uh, all the countries in the world. It could be European countries, the UAE is a partner maybe, yeah. and uh, to help invest for the next step for the future, right? Exactly, exactly. This is what we're trying to do right now. We're trying to cooperate and coordinate with different pavilions. Maybe like they can help us, you know, like uh, find new strategies. Uh, we, we can attract them to come and see Lebanon other than what social media or other things are highlighting on, on Lebanon at the moment, you know, and like special thanks to the Expo and the, like yeah. the UAE, which is helping us uh, how many how many people in the country? In Lebanon. Yeah. There now there's around four million. That's what they say. But outside of Lebanon, there's around there is around eleven million even more outside wow. the country. So uh, so yeah, that's mainly the tour, and I hope we can see everyone back here in the Lebanese pavilion. And the flights are, are fully happening. Everybody can yeah. just it's open. Every, 
every, it's just open to come here and see us and this is why and we open thank... to go to Beirut also to yes, Lebanon? Yes, yes, and this is why we thank the UAE, the government over here, they're helping us and they're opening for us uh, opportunities to actually prove a message to everyone and help us to stay positive all the time. And yeah, that's mainly it.